All right, so here we are at the entry, and we're going to head inside. So as you enter, there's tile, and the tile starts basically here and then goes throughout the kitchen. And then on the other side of these bamboo um, blinds is a central um, atrium, and it's been closed so these fish, I guess if the sun hits these fish, the whole thing blossoms with algae. So. Um, so you have the kitchen, I also have the living room, or the dining area and then the kitchen, and they've got um, a hutch, I mean I think many setups would have the table right directly below the light, um, and then we'll talk about the kitchen in a second. Living room, you have carpet, and then a really high ceiling. Um, which I really like. And then this is sort of the central atrium. And a lot of these properties have it, especially because you can see like the wall right here, or that fence is uh, the property line for the neighbor. And so they put these little central um, patios in here. And they've just done a little garden. Uh, but it allows you to put some light in the house. If this was just a big wall, it would be very dark. Um, so high ceilings in the living room. And there's a portable air conditioning unit right there. Um, and the kitchen has Formica counters that have sort of a granite um, finish or laminate. And then the cabinets have uh, they put in new knobs, new stainless steel, brushed nickel uh, knobs and hinges. And so over the sink, you have the windows out to the entryway, door to the garage. And then um, a little some counter space over here. Uh, there's a family of five currently living here, so they're taking advantage of every square inch of space. Um, and they've actually done quite a bit. Organization here is outstanding. <laughs> um, garage, two car garage, roll up door. Um, they have the genie opener. Washer and dryer hookups to be out here. And as again, you can see all the organization. So everything is, it's a tightly run ship here. Um, let's back up real quick to see the water heater. Water heater is in decent shape. Um, looks like all the plumbing is, looks good. And then we'll head out to the bedrooms. So to the left, you have the uh, kids' bath bathroom. And there's a tub behind here. Bedroom number one, the girls' room. Two sets of cabinets, and then a mirror closet door on the left, and then down through here you have the boys' bedroom. And this room is about, I'd say, maybe 10 by 12, 13 by 12. Or I'm sorry, 13 by 10. Um, and then it has views towards the backyard. And then the master bedroom. Currently set up as a bedroom slash office. And then the master bath. So you have closets, mirror closet doors on either side leading into the bathroom. So the counter. Shower. Oops. The shower is in good shape. So it looks good. So it's 455 Green Tree. It's in University Park.